Oh my gosh, guys. I just took a solid core class and I've taken one of these before, but this one just destroyed me. And like, there was this older lady next to me who was there and it was her 100th class. And this was basically like my first class. And honestly, I'm so weak. It's like insane. I just know that I'm gonna be sore for so, so long. So I'm going to a spa tomorrow with a friend and I'm hopefully like that place will relax my muscles because I'm so just like tight from doing all of the exercises. I'm gonna go home now, maybe eat some lunch and then um, I'm meeting my family for dinner today, which is exciting because I think we're getting like Chinese, I don't know what you call it. It's not hot pot, but it's like the stone pot rice, which honestly sounds really good. The other day I went to solid core. My entire like upper body is just so sore. Me getting into the car hurts. And I've been stretching to kind of make my muscles feel better. It's not exactly doing what I needed to do. So I'm gonna go cycling today. And I have another solid core class scheduled for monday so i'm hoping that the soreness kind of goes away before then tomorrow i'm going to see a broadway show with my sister we're going to see the show called moulin rouge we also really want to see hades town because lola tung is going to be in it on february 9th i think that's her opening day so we're also going to try to get tickets for that but we're not really sure if we can just because it is really expensive and i imagine that most people would want to see her as well especially since she's a like new actress for the show so we'll see if that ever happens but i'm just gonna put it out there for manifestation purposes good morning everyone i am going to hot yoga today which is something i've never done before i have this yoga mat and hopefully this and the towel that i brought is going to be enough i it's not exactly like the yoga like hot yoga material i forget what it's called but there's a specific name um, so hopefully it's okay but I'm hoping that this isn't like crazy hard because I've never done this before. Wish me luck. I will come back and update you afterward. Okay, so it's post-class. Um, honestly, it's a really nice experience if you get the chance to try it. I've never sweat so much in my life. I was wearing like a sports bra and some biker shorts and my entire body was like dripping. So it's a really good sweat. It is really challenging because of the heat um, and at some times like when you're moving from position to position you kind of see like stars in your vision but if you just take it slow and focus on your breathing it eventually comes back and then obviously you are allowed to have water with you so I had my Walla bottle. Um, I don't know if that was like a good choice because it's metal and it's insulated so like does that alter the bottle at all i don't know i would totally go again i think it's a very like unique experience and you have to really be in the mood to want to do like yoga and meditation stuff but the instructor was really really nice um she gave me a lot of like pointers and even at the end she was like you did so well for your first uh session so who knows maybe i'll be back i don't know good morning guys well it's kind of afternoon now but this morning i went to a soul cycle class um, a classmate of mine actually like put together this event because she knows someone that works at SoulCycle so it was a free class and I thought that I should go check it out to see if I actually like the whole setup of SoulCycle. I've only ever done cycling at Equinox which is a little different and then now I'm gonna do hot yoga with my friend. It's at this place called Hotworks and it's it's something new. It's like a studio where you only really have a instructor that's on a screen and it's not like in person or anything. So we'll see how that goes. I didn't bring a towel or a mat, so I hope that they give that to us. And I'll try to see if they would give that to us online, but it didn't say anywhere. So I'm just gonna see. Hello! <laughs> My I'm, fish fell. I'm so excited to eat this because I like touched it and it's really like... It's crispy. Yeah. yeah. They really fry it. They're like deep fry it. That's... Wait, is there something inside? Is there red bean inside? Yeah. 
Hi everyone. So today is Thursday. I went to the city today with Kush. Um, as you guys can see, I went to the Kelly Clarkson show before and here's my little like wristband. After the show, we left Rockefeller Center because that's where they film. And we like saw this thing for The Voice, which was, we weren't really sure what it was, but everyone was kind of lining up there. So we just walked past it. On the Kelly Clarkson show, we actually saw Dan and Shay and they are the new judges that are gonna show up on The Voice next week. So they were having this event where they were kind of getting people hyped up for the new season and stuff. So they were giving out merch, hot chocolate and donuts. And we had the option of getting a tumbler or we could also get the, um, like a fanny pack almost. Yeah, but then I went for the tumbler because I don't really need another bag, but I think it's really cool. Um, I, It's pretty good like material as well. I'm very excited that I got this, even though it says like the voice and NBC on it. I'll use this, don't worry. Hi guys, so I just got back from the gym. Um, I was trying to figure out how long it would take me to run a mile because I'm thinking about doing a 5K run this year and try to challenge myself and whatnot. Um, so I have a couple of mine that I've been looking at, but I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. And I'm trying to coordinate with my friend in case she also wants to do it with me because she's done track when she was in high school. She could probably train better than I could, but I went to the gym today just to see how long it would take me. And so I know my base and where to go from there. Apparently she said that my base is not bad. And I don't know if I want to share it with you guys because I think it's bad, but she doesn't. So it's like very subjective, but um, I've been looking online and there's some like six week or eight week plans to try to train for a 5K. Um, and the equivalent to that in metrics would be about like three miles and something. So as a runner, um, it's easier for her, but like I've never run before and I have only ever been on the tennis team in high school and in college, I never did any sports. It was just me going to the gym to stay healthy and things like that. So it's like, it's a little weird why I'm trying to do a 5K, but I wanted to do it because it's like a challenge for me. So yeah, that's what I did today. And then right now I am trying to print this label because I have to send out a package tomorrow, but the printer's being all wonky and I cannot figure out for the life of me why it's like printing like this. It's really, really weird. So, that's what I'm up to. If you guys haven't seen the new video that I put out today, this is what it looks like. Go subscribe, like, um, and leave a comment. And then also, um, I drew a new photo today for my art Instagram. If you guys wanna go follow that, it is B-Y-E-E -E artwork. And I haven't posted much on it, so I really can't say like, you know, much about the account, but you guys know I'm really big fans of the Bridgerton series. And so I decided to draw a photo for, or a photo of Penelope and Colin, and this is what it looks like. So this is the one that I drew, and then this is the actual photo. Um, I tried to like mimic the floral arrangements and the detailing on his shirt as much as possible, but it's really hard. So I tried my best. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm about to head to the gym. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I really want to start getting into running. So yesterday I went to the park with my friend who's training for a half marathon and I ran with her. It was so hard, like it was so hard. Today I'm just gonna do a little bit of a run and then do upper body and I have to drop off some mail at the post office. So I was also thinking that I want to stop by like TJ Maxx or something and maybe look for a running vest. I've been there once and I've seen one. So I really, I wanna see if they have another one or, or a hydration pack that I could also double as using for like hiking and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to go because I tend to take a long time in the gym. So we'll see, cause if I go, then I'll bring you guys and I'll kind of show you like what I'm talking about. If I can even find one in the store, but if not, then I will just probably have to get one online or I can hold out on getting them because I'm not technically going on long runs quite yet. 
So last time they were in this area. I don't see the way they These are just like Reebok bags. I mean, although they're really cute, I don't need them. Guys, look, I found one. It's by High Sierra. And it carries two liters. It's $17. I just have to show you guys, but they have Elta MD here. This is crazy. I've always wanted a blanket like this sucker design. I also don't need that. I also have these waist packs, but it's not really what I'm looking for. All right, so I ended up not getting the hydration pack because I just think it's a lot harder to clean the like straw in the pack. Um, that's holding the water and I just don't want mold growing and that kind of stuff. So I was looking for a running vest that has like the squeezy bottles or like the They're like pouches that you just stick in because I think that's more sanitary, but I couldn't find any so um, I spent a good hour looking in the store, but that's fine because I literally have nothing else to do today Yeah, I'm gonna go home now try to eat a little snack before dinner just because I did not eat lunch today at all. So let's go home. So I just finished working out and I'm trying this new hairstyle, which I think is really cute. Um, it's essentially a ponytail and then you braid your hair the rest of the way. And I cycled today and my hair kind of like fell out a little because you are moving around so much, but for the most part, it kept and then I just rebraided it after. Um, I think this is like a really cute alternative to a ponytail if you don't want to wear that. Um, and then of course I have like my face framing pieces which are super sweaty right now so I push them to the back. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now, maybe have a quick snack before I have dinner. Hi everyone, so I did a little bit of shopping because there's a festival that a couple of friends and my sister and I are gonna go to and I was trying to think what outfit or like thing I could possibly wear and so I really wanted these cargo pants and I was trying to find one online. I found these pair on Madewell and I'm gonna try them on for you right now. I honestly don't know how they'll look because I think they're not as stretchy as I want them to be, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. And these are the pants, which I actually really like them a lot and they fit perfectly. They have all these pockets. They have that one, the one on the side. And uh, I think this one's like not an actual pocket. That's fine, because I don't really need to put anything in these pockets anyways. I think I'm really happy with these. I'm gonna keep them. This is a good good purchase. I also got my signature drink, which is a Gongcha um, Lemon Ayu Pearl Jelly, I think it's called. Um, I do 30% sugar with less ice. And then I also got myself some Little Beat because they gave me like a birthday reward and I'm going to use that to my advantage. So this is gonna be my lunch for today. And then I'm meeting Tiffany, my sister and her sister for dinner today. Hi, 